name is Daniel Pewter, and you're watching Knockout Workout. Today we're with Michael Mooney, who's an author, athlete, and researcher. We're going to be talking about part two of the immune strength. And what this is, is we're basically talking about another vitamin that will help increase your immune system so you don't get sick. Do you get sick? Because today you're going to learn another way not to get sick. Okay, number two component beside super immune multivitamin is vitamin D3. A super immune multivitamin has a thousand units of vitamin D3, but to really get your immune system to get the immune strength you need to support the 200 and something antimicrobial peptides, that your natural germ pillars in your body, support their activity, you need more vitamin D3. World Authority, Dr. Jen, John Cannell at vitamindcouncil.org says most adults need around 6,000 units of vitamin D3 a day wow. to get their blood levels of the, the thing you measure when you're measuring vitamin D is called OH vitamin D. It's a blood test. You want it to be above 40 nanograms. If it's above 40, you're going to have optimal immune function. Uh, there's an effect on brain too, where there's a more balanced mood. And uh, you know, for women, calcium absorption is enhanced. Less risk of bone fracture for seniors. So vitamin D3, 5,000 units added to the super immune 1,000 to 6,000. In that range, get the blood test about two months after you've been taking a specific dose. It takes that long for your blood level to stabilize so you know exactly whether the dose you're taking is working. Perfect. Now, can you tell me real quick about, you said uh, units. Uh, there's a difference between units, micrograms, milligrams, grams, all that sort of thing. Can you explain a little bit? Vitamin D, like vitamin A, is measured in international units, IU. Okay. It's different than milligrams. It's a, it's a measure of activity. Okay. Cool. In the published data, vitamin D3, there was a, a study, a six-year study with 18,883 people that showed that the people who had the highest OH vitamin D blood levels at 36% less upper respiratory infections. Now that's critically important. Um, people who had asthma in the study had, people with the highest vitamin D blood levels had one-fifth as many upper respiratory infections. So it's critical for immune support is vitamin D3. Another tip for vitamin D3 is a, a new study showed that taking vitamin D during the largest meal, large meal, can improve the absorption and utilization of vitamin D 56% better than if you didn't take it with you. Check your blood levels in two months, check your OH vitamin D blood level in two months and see if the dose you're taking is giving you above 40 nanograms. Perfect. My name is Daniel Pewter, Michael Mooney. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.